Hey everyone, this is MDMZ and in today's episode of Photoshop M5, I'm going to show you a super easy way to change the colors of any clothing in Photoshop. Also, we're gonna take it a step further and learn how to use generative fill to create completely new outfits and accessories. Let's get started by opening your image in the latest version of Photoshop. First, unlock the image layer using the quick selection tool. Simply click and drag over different areas of the t-shirt to select it. If you need to resize the brush, just hold the Alt key, right click and move your mouse left or right. Let's scale it down for smaller areas. And if your selection goes beyond the edges of the t-shirt, hold the alt key and drag over that area to include it. Keep refining your selection until you're happy with it. Then click on this icon to create a new folder and click here to apply a layer mask that matches the shape of your selection. Double click here to rename the folder. I'm gonna call this color change. With the folder selected, click here and choose solid color and here you can select the color that you want to change to for this example i'm going with this blue color obviously it still looks flat right now and to fix that simply change the blending mode to multiply we're gonna make it look even better in a minute just keep in mind that the multiply mode works best when you're changing from a bright color if you're starting from a darker tone like this you will need to set the blending mode to soft light instead. Once you're done with this step, you might notice a slight change in the color that you initially chose. But no worries, you can always double click on the solid color and make changes as you wish. And hey, if you're trying to change the t-shirt to black, make sure you set the color to dark gray. Personally, I think this blue looks pretty good. And now let me quickly show you how to change the color to white instead. First, add a hue and saturation layer and hide the solid color. Bring the saturation all the way down to remove the color. You can increase the lightness, but make sure you don't go overboard. All right, now unhide the solid color and delete the saturation layer. Add a new curves layer. And here you can play around with the curve. I usually start by creating an S shape, which adds more contrast between the highlights and shadows and makes the new color look more realistic. Feel free to experiment with this as the ideal adjustment depends on your input and the color you're aiming for. You might notice that the edges of the mask still look a bit rough at the moment. There are a couple of things you can do to fix that. Simply double click on the mask. One thing you can start with is slightly increasing the radius. You can also adjust other things like smoothness, feather, contrast and edge shifting to further refine your mask. But if you want to be more precise, select the brush tool and make sure it's set to the default round brush. You can adjust its softness by holding the Alt key, right clicking and moving up and down. And with the mask selected and the foreground color set to black, you can use the brush to erase the color. Pressing the X key on your keyboard lets you swap between foreground and background colors and setting the foreground color to white allows you to restore erased parts. Just keep using the brush to clean up the edges all around the t-shirt until you have a nice and clean mask. Not only you can easily change the color of clothing in Photoshop, but you can get even more creative and completely change the outfit using generative fill. Bring your image over to Photoshop, select the lasso tool and simply draw a selection around the outfit that you want to change. Find the generative fill bar that appears by default in your workspace. Click on generative fill, describe what you want to generate. For example, if you want to change the t-shirt to a Hawaiian shirt, simply type that and hit generate. You will be presented with three options to choose from. And if you don't like any of them, you can click on generate again for more options. Let's try something a bit more challenging. I'm going to include the shorts in my selection this time and I want to generate some overalls. Let's see how it goes. That looks pretty good with just a few minor issues like the strap on this side. And instead of spending time manually fixing it, use the lasso tool to draw a selection around the part that you want to change. And this time leave the prompt box empty and hit generate. This will give Photoshop more creativity to work with. It worked like magic when I used it on several other parts of the overall. You can also get creative with generative fill by adding text or graphics to your t-shirt and if you want to spice things up try generating accessories 
Like here, I generated a beanie, glasses, and few other items. Just remember to draw selections that are similar in shape and size to what you want to generate and keep your prompts simple and precise. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future uploads. Stay creative and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.